Welcome to Fantastic Plastic, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Fantastic Plastic, I'll be presenting strategies and techniques for injection molded plastic part design using SolidWorks CAD software. I'm Andrew Lowe. I'm a senior industrial designer with the Demonic Group. The Demonic Group is a full service product development consultancy located just outside Chicago, Illinois. In this installment of Fantastic Plastic, we'll take a look at another advanced uh, drafting technique for creating a jogged parting line in a scenario like this where the parting line comes across and then jogs down as shown. So in this part, the uh, toolmaker requested a change to this part. Uh, on the left was the part as originally designed, and there were kind of these tall ribs uh, on the cavity side, and they were concerned that they were going to stick. So they requested a uh, change similar to this, so that way more of the part was formed in the core side, and the parting line jogged down here as required. So moving into SOLIDWORKS now, let's take a look at how I actually was able to create that jogged parting line. Now I could have come in maybe with the split line tool and define something that way, add the draft, or maybe with a cut, but my technique uses the, uh, the split tool to actually cut this body uh, into various pieces. And to start with, I need to generate a sketch. So I've just got a sketch here on an arbitrary plane. Uh, some dimensions to jog and it's two millimeters off, five degrees here for the shutoff for the sliding steel. And we'll use this sketch in the split tool. Uh, note that you can also use planes and uh, surfaces to, uh, to split the part. So investigating the split tool itself, uh, it'll ask you for a template, but we're not generating a new part, so we just hit cancel. And here we'll see that we're using the, uh, the sketch, sketch 153. And it's going to split, just going to kind of project the sketch all the way out, almost like it was an extruded surface. And I'm going to pick the, uh, the body I want to keep. So I do need to pick a body. I also need to make sure consume cut bodies off. Otherwise, it's just going to bleed this body. I do need to do additional operations on it. So we'll just uh, we'll use the split tool. And so where I didn't have edges before, I now have new sets of edges. Now, I could have done that with a split line. But one benefit of the split tool is that the split tool actually gives me a new face to work with. This face is all new, generated by the split tool. If I hadn't uh, used the split, just used split line, you know, this would all just be one body and that face wouldn't exist. The benefit of using split here is because of that extra face is generated, it now allows me to easily add the draft to these faces. So we're going to have one degree of draft. And because that face is here, it's automatically revealed at the five degrees of draft that we had baked into our split sketch. So if we turn on our draft analysis here with the right plane, uh, let's just go one degree. So here we were able to, you know, redraft. Originally these faces were at a half degree of draft, and so now we've drafted them the other way onto the core side with the, the degree of draft. And because I have this new face in the model, because of split, you know, see split 11 is even showing me that feature, uh, I would be able to get this result. If I didn't have this face, I hadn't split the part, and I just generated, say, a split line along here, I wouldn't be able to be able to build the draft in this way. So this is a really powerful but easy to use technique for uh, creating these kind of split uh, parting lines. I did need to, uh, I think, define a plane here for this guy, but also just, once again, splitting the part up with the split tool, uh, and then adding those new drafted faces. Once again, here's that kind of new face generated uh, by the split. And the final step is put it all back together with the combine tool. So we'll just uh, use combine, add the bodies, just kind of window select everything, right? Just grab it all, put it back together. And now I'm left with one completed body, uh, and I've got that really easy to create split parting line or jog parting line here, complements of the split tool. So to recap, uh, I needed to change the geometry from this situation where all of this was at a half degree on the, uh, the cavity side to a one degree of draft on the core side per toolmaker request. And so to do that, to create that jog parting line, I used the split tool to cut the part into various pieces. Here we can see the different bodies in this kind of olive color and the blue color. And what this is doing is generating that new face here. And so when I do come in and use the, um, the draft tool, that new face, the draft tool is able to actually create the correct geometry because this face existed. If I just use split line to generate these edges, I wouldn't have this, uh, this same result. So really powerful technique for creating jogged parting lines. I hope you enjoyed this week's SOLIDWORKS video tutorial presented by the Demonic Group. Please subscribe to the Demonic Group on YouTube by clicking our logo on the bottom right of the screen to stay up to date on new video releases. As well, click the SOLIDWORKS icon to be taken to our website where you can download the example SOLIDWORKS files used in this week's video. And finally, check out other great content by the Demonic Group, Will It Fill It and Surfaces and Splines by clicking the video links on the left of the screen.